truth is the only reason I started Fog Creek Software is because I kept trying to look for a great place to work in New York that treated software developers well, and I just couldn't find one to work at. So in desperation, I finally made one. I mean, I would go to parties and I'd meet somebody and I'd be like, hey, what do you do? I'm a programmer. Oh, me too. And they'd say, do you know any good companies to work for in New York? And I'd say, no. Everywhere I looked, I saw companies that were having trouble recruiting programmers and not treating programmers well. And they didn't put these two things together. They didn't realize that if they treated programmers well, it would be easy for them to recruit programmers. And so I decided that that was a, an opportunity that I had to fill and I just needed a place to work that I liked. So I started Fog Creek. Uh, there's a kind of, there's a, kind of a, a mild bias against management at Fog Creek. And I, and I don't say that in a pejorative way, it's just that their experience has been, I think a lot of people's experience has been, that managers, at, particularly at software companies, uh, kind of get in the way. They just, oftentimes they're not very technical, or they're not technical at all, um, and they have sort of arbitrary notions about how software is done and when it can get done. You have to sort of treat programming as a profit center, no matter what kind of organization you're in, even if it is technically a cost center for you. There are companies like, for example, Walmart, that have been able to lower prices because they have better distribution systems, and they have better distribution systems because they use computers and because their programmers just do a better job. Joel's style of running his company is hugely different from places that I've worked in the past. I've had an experience of working in a very corporate, kind of staid, cube farm type of environment. So there was actually a point where they stopped providing milk in the coffee room. <laughs> For kids today, the thought of working in a cubicle is almost the epitome of the evil corporate workspace. Just a depressing, depressing place to work. That guy must have liked to kick the back of his desk all day long. The great thing about programming, uh, for me, is the feeling of being absolutely in control. Like writing code is basically deciding, you know, how, how the future is going to work. You're basically deciding, you know, are we going to have um, personal helicopters on the roof of our house? All those things are the decisions that you're making as a, as a programmer. There's something systematically different about Fog Creek than most other companies, and that is that uh, developers, uh, especially, are assumed to know the right answer. Right? So you don't start from the position of negotiating with someone about whether or not they could even possibly have the right answer. You assume that they have the right answer and that's their job to explain to you why this is the best solution, not why it's the right solution or the wrong solution. Management has to know what the programmers want, what the programmers need, what they need to be able to do to be productive and has a strong interest in ensuring they have it. Because when software is the center of your business, Every little couple of percent you can add of additional productivity that's going to be directly reflected on the bottom line. A few years ago, uh, we had a bunch of interns here and we made a movie um, about their summer and how they developed software. And the feedback that we got from that was that it was a cool movie, but it didn't go enough into depth about how we really developed software here at Fog Creek. So um, this time we made a series of six videos that's literally designed to be a training program. We go in detail into uh, six different topics, recruiting, the roles on the team, uh, the environment for great software development, how to make uh, schedules that are realistic and actually how to meet those schedules, um, the life cycle of the software development process and all the good practices that we've learned here during that, throughout that life cycle. And uh, there's a chapter on designing great software and making software that really gets people fired up, that people will really love. You can go through one video a week uh, at your workplace uh, with your team um, to learn all about uh, how we do software development and hopefully improve your skills and make better software.